We're in the center circle, ready to get things going in Blacksburg. Campbell with the opening possession. And the 2024 season is underway. It's Campbell and Virginia Tech on the ACC Network Extra. Virginia Tech to start with it. Allie George, the senior out of Louisville, to throw it in. And the Hokies work in their defensive third. Virginia Tech finished seven, eight, and three last season. Four and six in the ACC. Good for eighth in the conference out of 14 teams. They were picked to finish ninth. This season picked to finish 10th in what really is a loaded Atlantic Coast Conference. If it wasn't one of the best leagues in the country before, it certainly is now with the additions, of course, of Cal, SMU, Stanford, bolstering an already impressive league. Now Campbell with their first possession. Hokies take it right back. Anna Weir in transition. Through ball in front and is blocked away. And the possession is awarded to Campbell. The fighting Camels will look to clear. Well, interestingly enough, these two teams have met four times on the pitch. It previously mentioned it hasn't been since 2011 that Virginia Tech and Campbell have faced off. But when you look at the matchup, a power four echelon school, again, that's not a soccer term, but, but an ACC opponent in Virginia Tech and then Campbell down the road in Bowie Creek, North Carolina, looked at as maybe not on the same tier. Well, Campbell leads the all-time series three games to Virginia Tech's one. Hokies with an offensive chance. Pass in front, deflected away. Sierra Vance, the Fairfax, Virginia native, playing in her home state, representing the Camels. Another look. Well, corner kick for Virginia Tech from the far side. A spot in which the Hokies will look to be a little more aggressive in 2024. Here's a chance. It's cleared out. Possessed by Tech, pass in front, headed away. And we were able to track it down. Campbell on the other side went four, six, and seven a season ago. 2, 4, and 6 in CAA play. And here's Natalie Mitchell setting it up for the Hokies. Leading scorer for Virginia Tech a year ago. Where will she go with it? Sends it in front. And it sails high. Natalie Mitchell, a junior, coming all the way from Temecola, California, led the team in scoring, started all 18 games as a sophomore. 19 points, nine goals, one assist. 61% of her shots found the net. The 
Eden Skyers on the near side for Virginia Tech. Played the third most minutes on the team defensively for the Hokies. Another big component of the game. Who's going to win the fight in the middle and create some opportunities up the field? Campbell trying to do just that here for the two on four. And there's the first touch for a Virginia Tech goalkeeper today. Big question mark coming into the evening was who would get the start? It's Lauren Hargrove answering the bell. Here's a through ball in front. Anna Weir. Sends it on net, and it goes high. And we were a key freshman a year ago for Virginia Tech. Came up to play for the Hokies from Ackworth, Georgia. Now in her sophomore campaign, another player that maybe looked upon to take on a bigger role in 2024. Tied for third on the team in scoring as a freshman a year ago. Had six points, two goals, two assists. Above 50% on her shots on goal as well. And Campbell careless with it. Emily Rubio couldn't find a teammate, and it's Virginia Tech possession. Now reverse field here. Allie George. Through ball gobbled up, and we'll head the other way. Touch pass in the middle of the field. I know Vurenin trying to create offense. Here's Anna Weir once again, dancing on the near side around defenders. Through ball gets through, chance on the far side. Pass in front, and Weir sails it high once again. Hokies being aggressive, and head coach Chugger Adair in his 14th season talked about how he wants his team to push on offense, be a little bit more aggressive Create some more opportunities offensively. You can't score it if you don't shoot, right? And Virginia Tech was towards the bottom of the ACC in shots taken last year. He'd like to see his team continue to be aggressive and maybe crank it up a notch for the 2024 campaign, especially early on. Tech takes it away in the middle once again. Mapelkowski with a touch. Nice through ball by Pelkowski. Here's Natalie Mitchell. Puts it in front. And a great stop. Mitchell tried to sail it towards the net once again, and it ends up out of play on the back line. Corner kick coming for the Hokies, and another good offensive chance there. It was nullified by Alyssa Tucker, the sophomore. Plays all over the field for Campbell. Can do it all offensively, but a great asset on the defensive end as well. Here's Natalie Mitchell with the corner kick. Headed away. Campbell's been there to answer that bell so far early on tonight. I know Vurenin with it for Tech. Now it's Weir. Virginia Tech controlling the time of possession early. Natalie Mitchell just misses to the left of the post. About 10 minutes of play so far in Blacksburg, and Virginia Tech continues to be the early aggressor. Just couldn't quite put it on cage. And another chance to clear for the fight in camp. Running with a 
touch again. Here's Allie George from the far side. Transition opportunity once again for the Hokies. Quickly intercepted and retrieved by Pelkowski. Keeping the ball in the offensive third. Vernon looks to attack. Sends it to the opposite side. Anna Weir puts it wide right. And nobody's home. Ball stays in play in the far corner. And the through ball gets out of play. So another corner coming for Virginia Tech. A spot that they were solid in a season ago. Virginia Tech ended up finishing eighth in the ACC in goals a game last season, scoring just over one goal per contest. They were sixth in opposing scoring average with just under a goal a game. Skyers sends it in, headed away, chance at the top, and it's dug out by Campbell. I know Vurenin able to snatch it back. And it'll be Campbell's possession. One of the big question marks as well, heading into today, besides just who was going to start, was how do you replace Aaliyah Skinner if you're Virginia Tech? She started all 18 games in net last season for the Hokies. Virginia Tech was responsible for the best save percentage in the ACC at 82%. And the Hokies take it away. De Guzman sails it high. And Campbell will take over once again. Well, that question mark has sort of been answered with Hargrove in net for the Hokies, but Virginia Tech has yet to be challenged. Lauren Hargrove, the senior from Richmond. Mickey Easter, a graduate out of Culpeper, Virginia, came in to play a grad season from Marquette out of the transfer portal, and many thought maybe she would get the nod. Hargrove gets the nod to start the season. And that's who Chugger Adele will look upon to fill that hole. The best save percentage in the ACC out of Aaliyah Skinner. Here's Virginia Tech. Chance in front. Shot on an open net is punched away. Keeper was out and Virginia Tech couldn't capitalize. Here's a through ball in front. And Weir puts it on cage and it misses just left. Natalie Mitchell. Now a touch from the far corner. Tech looking to reset. Through ball put in front. Eden Skyers with a touch. One more to Vernon. I know sends it in the middle. Punch back out. Natalie Mitchell can't get it through. And another look here at the opportunity Virginia Tech had in front of them. Got the keeper to miss. And just unable to put it through was Taylor Price. Junior out of Ashburn, Virginia. Scored two goals against ETSU in the last scrimmage this team played before the regular season got going this evening against Campbell. <laughs> See if Campbell can just get it into the offensive third, control a little bit here. Through ball is tracked down. Mason Nelson for the Hokies, reverses field. Now Nitchell in the middle, pokes it up the far touch line. Tech with numbers. 
Pass in front. What a defensive stop. <laughs> Megan Bernetti, the sophomore, able to get her left foot in front. Campbell's defensive front has remained strong here. Despite Virginia Tech's aggressive chances. Virginia Tech, corner kick. <laughs> the defenders have been able to nullify many of Tech's early opportunities, but a corner kick coming once again. Eden Skyers to send it in. A line drive. It's pushed out of bounds by Allie George. Sierra Vance to clear it once again. Wearing the pink for Campbell. Tech continuing to be pesky on that right as well. Again, Campbell just not able to get the ball into their offensive third very much at all. And when they do, it's just kind of thrown in there and Tech able to snatch it right back. Touch pass to Viernan. One more off to Pelkowski. And they'll reverse it to George. She lofts it up the touch line. And we'll stay down here with the Hokies. Eight different Hokies who scored during the 2023 season are back for this campaign. Virginia Tech returns. 92% of its goal production from last season. The story last year was how youthful the team was and, and how young they were and how the future was bright. Well, now you kind of get to see that, that next step in the trajectory with 92% of the goal production returning from a year ago. And you might beg the question, so, so what exactly does that look like? Well, Tech returns 22 of its 24 goals from last season and 16 of its 18 assists. Mitchell with a through ball, and we got whistles. Virginia Tech. Again, 14th season for Chugger Adair. Feels like he's been at the helm of the Hokies for as long as this program's been around for many of those that are fans here in Blacksburg. One of eight coaches in ACC history to eclipse 150 wins. Through ball in front, opportunity in front, and it's plugged away by Kendall Lincoln. Another good stand defensively, especially with Sierra Vance, a little bit frantic out of the net. Vurenin touches it off to Mitchell. Now Campbell able to take it back once again. Eden Skyers soars in to steal it. Here's Anna Weir. Cross in front, and nobody's home. Mitchell keeps it in play. Ellie George puts it in front. Eden Skyers, now off to Weir. She dances away, and it's blocked in front. Two great blocks by the Camels. Kind of feels like at this point, right, something's got to give where Virginia Tech finds a seam. It's, it's almost like the, the law of averages, right? The more you throw at it, something's going to stick, and Virginia Tech just continues to be the aggressors on offense.
Virginia Tech has taken nine shots. Campbell has yet to take a shot. Here tonight in this 2024 season opener. Pelkowski. Tracked down by Weir. Anna Weir gets around one. It's cleared through once again. Hargrove saying, hey, let's settle it. Slow it down a little bit. Give them a second to breathe. And they'll recollect with George from the far touch line. Here's Samantha de Guzman. Off to Pelkowski. Mason Nelson gets it into Weir. Yearning off to Skyers. Unsettled chance. And again, the drain plugged up by the Fighting Camels. Mitchell lofts it towards the net, and Sierra Vance is able to fall on top. Well, if you're hearing that, that is a diehard section of Virginia Tech students that come out to every women's soccer game in the front row. You may hear the barking. You may hear the drum. I mean, they go all out. From the second the season opens, when it's hot in August, until it's cold in the later months closer to November, they're out there in full effect. Good to have those guys back. Tech looking to create once again. Here's Pelkowski. Lobs it off to De Guzman. And she's stuffed on the far side by Alyssa Tucker. <laughs> There's a shot of our usually a little bit bigger group, but again, the students still kind of filing into Blacksburg. Classes don't start until the 26th. Men's soccer starts a week from now here at Thompson Field. And Number 29, Adele Schwab. Women's soccer Number tonight. 13, Ava Smack dab in the middle of August on a Thursday evening. First set of substitutions here now. A couple of new Hokies, a couple of new fighting camels on the pitch. Big contact on the far side. Allie George gets tied up with Aver Kanar. That's a that's a senior in Allie George and a true freshman in Kanar. Aggressive with it on both sides. And now Virginia Tech looking to bring it into their offensive end once again. And a weir with her back to the goal. In the middle, it's Pelkowski. Now Campbell a little bit more aggressive on the ride. Hargrove boots it to the middle of the field. Big leg by Pelkowski. We are able to track it down. She lofts it up and puts it in. What a play by Anna Weir for the first goal of the 2024 season. Just able to dance around. Sierra Vance was patient with it. Didn't panic and waited for the right moment to strike. Third on the team in scoring as a freshman a year ago looking for a big 2024 campaign, and she starts it off right. The initial move got around the keeper, one-on-one -on -one with the defender, and Anna Weir with the first goal of the 2024 season. It's 1-0 Virginia Tech.
Hokies having fun to start out the season. And again, it was one of those situations, chance after chance after chance. Tenth time's the charm, tenth shot of the night. And Virginia Tech strikes first here in Blacksburg. Sarah Rosenbaum, a sophomore out of King George, Virginia, checks in for Virginia Tech. Seeing her first minutes of the 2024 season, and Campbell trying to possess here really for the first time tonight in the offensive third. Caitlin Boucher from the far side throws it in. Eden Skyers quickly clears it out. Tech pushing aggressively in the middle of the field. And Campbell's going to hang on to it. Well, how can the Camels respond here after surrendering the first goal of the ball game? Now possessing immediately following the goal being scored by Anna Weir. How can they respond here? And is it a quick response? Dangerous chance, and Eden Skyers is there once again. Dumps it off to Weir. Virginia Tech will slow it down on their defensive side. There's Pelkowski in the middle. And they'll get it back to the keeper and Lauren Hargrove. Hargrove out of the net. She's able to punch it out of bounds to give the defense a chance to settle in. Throw in for Christina Munoz from the near side. Came a long way all the way from New York to play at Campbell. Upwards of a 14-hour drive from Bowie Creek, North Carolina, up to Corum, New York. And Virginia Tech looks to clear. Back with the reliable Eden Skyers. Two on one for Pelkowski. She evades the pressure. In the middle, Ino Vierne. Reverses it off to Allie George. And now the Hokies in transition. De Guzman. Back off to George, right back a give and go to De Guzman. And out of play it sails. Another corner kick for Virginia Tech. They just continue to push offensively. Virginia Tech corner kick. Virginia Tech's had five corner kicks so far this evening. Campbell is yet to have a shot. Eden Skyers from the far corner. Another line drive. De Guzman in front, lost the handle. And a foul in the middle will go the other way. Well, that is one of the main characteristics when you think of a Chugger Adair Virginia Tech women's soccer team. A staple of his program is being aggressive. 
The foul numbers are higher, and they're okay with that. Chugger team's always physical. Fourth in the ACC in fouls a year ago. More yellow cards than anyone else in the conference as well. We've yet to see one tonight. Here's Anna Weir. Off to DeGuzman. Back to Pelkowski. I was looking for George on the far side. Just lofted it a little bit too far. Campbell possession. Chugga Adair having some words with some of the younger stars on his team. That's Kendall D'Amelio ready to sub in next opportunity. Well, we talked about the returning production for Virginia Tech. And Anna Weir, sure, tied for third on the team in points. But she wasn't even, quote, unquote, the big three, right? The big three combined, it was Mitchell and DeGuzman, as far as returners go, that recorded 45% of Virginia Tech's points last season. Now you get Weir going, and you really got something cooking offensively. We'll stay down here with Virginia Tech. Foul goes against Caitlin Boucher, freshman from Maryland for the Camels. Well, another Hokey to just keep your eyes peeled for, folks, is 25 in gray. Taylor Price missed the majority of last season with a lower body injury but was lights out in the preseason this year and expected to have a huge 2024 campaign. Quick chance in front. Campbell's there to ring the bell. We'll stay down here with Virginia Tech, but for the most part, when you have controlled offense on this end, Campbell has been there to shut the door. It was a transition opportunity that Virginia Tech was able to capitalize on with Anna Weir just creating it herself. I mean, got around the keeper, and Sierra Vance was one-on-one -on -one with a defender and just able to punch it to the left side of the twine. Campbell able to get it right back. Skyers intercepts. And they'll reverse it back, give the defense a chance to spread the field a little bit here. Keep Hargrove activated in the ball game, give the keeper a touch. Now Virginia Tech reverses it. Through ball for Virginia Tech, they got some numbers. And a great stop made by Sierra Vance. Taylor Lewin, a true freshman for Virginia Tech, that's 21 in gray. Had Green in front, and there to ring the bell was Vance, a diving stop by the goalkeeper in pink. She boots it to the middle of the field. Lewin newly in the ball game for Virginia Tech. We'll see how they incorporate her into this offense. High praise for the freshman out of Chugger Adair through the preseason. Line drive in front, diving stop by Sierra Vance again. Another new face on the field for the Hokies. Ella Valente, junior, who played a whole lot of minutes last year for Virginia Tech. Getting her first minutes of the 2024 campaign. And 
Hargrove right there for it. So Virginia Tech cycled through all three goalkeepers evenly throughout the preseason. So heading into today, it really truly was not known except in-house who would start in net. Again, they go with Lauren Hargrove. The other options were Mickey Easter. And then, of course, Savannah Sabo as well. Eden Skyers tried to get it in front, waiting for it. It was Sarah Rosenbaum. There wasn't a crease. And here's Campbell moving the other way. Pelkowski. Nobody's hanging on to the ball very long here for the Hokies offensively either. Sharing it, reversing the field. Handful of quick one touch and give it off. It's continued to keep the Camels on their heels here defensively as we submerge south at 10 minutes left to play in the first half. Sophie Maltese in the ball game for Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech corner kick. Corner kick for the Hokies once again. Number six on the night. A slow roller, and it's taken away before it had a chance. For those that know Virginia Tech soccer, Sophie Malti switching to the number 22 this season. Previously wore number 15 for her first three years at Virginia Tech. Taylor Bryan, an absolute star for the Hokies, previously wore the number 22. One of the top goal scorers for the Hokies, one of the few losses that Tech does not return from a season ago. Bryan and Maltese were tied in scoring last year with five points apiece. Maltese started nine of 18 contests this season ago for Virginia Tech. There's 22 in gray. New number this year, 22 instead of the 1-5. Crucial final stretch here in the first half. Always been taught about the sport of soccer. The, the beginnings and ends of the halves are so crucial because it sets the tone. And now Campbell possessing. Can they find an equalizer here and start with a clean scratch in the second half? I mean, this has been a half dominated by Virginia Tech. But that's soccer, right? Because not necessarily on the scoreboard. It's a one nothing lead despite the shot category being so far in favor of the Hokies and the time of possession as well. Virginia Tech with 10 shots and six corner kicks. Campbell with zero in either stat category. And number 18, Intercepted in the middle by Jillian Garrison. Campbell looking to strike. Cluster in the middle. Served out to the far touch line. Just not assertive enough with the ball. Virginia Tech able to take it back. Annie DeHaan in the ball game for Virginia Tech, two in gray. I mean, a handful 
of new faces. Charger Adair kind of giving everybody some burn, especially now that you have that one nothing cushion. You, you don't have to play every starter for as long as they may play in some of the tougher non-conference games on the schedule and especially in the gauntlet that has become the ACC. I mean, we talked about it. It was already as tough of a slate as you get, especially with the defending national champions are part of the league in Florida State. You add Cal, SMU, Stanford. I will say, though, when you look at Virginia Tech's schedule this season, they play just one of the newcomers to the league. SMU, a home game here in Blacksburg. SMU will have to travel all the way from Dallas to play here. Virginia Tech does not play Stanford or Cal this season. Non-conference schedule though, fairly loaded for Virginia Tech. After tonight, they go on the road for three consecutive ball games. Here they look to create some more offense inside five minutes left. Virginia Tech heads on the road three days from now to play up in Harrisonburg against James Madison. They'll then be on the road once again, traveling further north to play at Delaware. Then on the road at Monmouth. Shot sails wide right off the left foot of Taylor Lewin. Well, Taylor Lewin, a freshman for the Hokies. This is a Virginia Tech freshman class ranked 15th in the country heading into the 2024 campaign. Annie DeHaan gets her chance intercepted. Tech takes it right back. Here's Lewin. Lewin tried to get it in and it's punched out of bounds. Christina Munoz has been all over the place defensively. 14 in orange for Campbell. It results in a corner kick. But you can give Munoz the gold star for what she's done defensively today. Transfer from Eastern Washington. She's gone a long way. New York, Washington, North Carolina, Trekked a lot of the country to play this sport. Here's Virginia Tech from the near corner. Lofted in and headed away by the Hokies. Mason Nelson got a piece and another corner kick coming. Inside two and a half left to play in the first half. Corner kick number nine for the Hokies. Skied in. And they find the back of the net once again. Just north of two minutes left, the Hokies in front, two to nothing. Kylie Marshall finds Twine for the Hokies, propelling Virginia Tech to a two goal advantage and pulling ahead here in the end of the first half. Just a jumble in front, it gets through the hands of the goalkeeper, Sierra Vance. And in the cluster, it's Kylie Marshall able to find the seam. Sophomore defender out of Ashburn, Virginia. Virginia Tech goals. Number 20, Kylie Marshall. Assisted by number 29, Kendall D'Amelio. Kendall D'Amelio is credited with the assist. And how about that? You get your starters out there. 
and they produce. Anna Weir able to bury one. And then you put in a whole different line here across the board for the most part. And they're able to produce just as well. That time on a corner kick. That, that's something you have to feel good about if you're Chugger Adair. Won their first scrimmage of this non-conference by the score of one to nothing, a shutout. Pitched another shutout in the second scrimmage. Three to nothing, the final. First one was against VCU. Second was against ETSU. Inside a minute left to play in the first half. It's been all Virginia Tech through the first 45 minutes. They want some more. Lewin able to watch her back. And again, all over the place, Munoz able to take away a possible opportunity from Annie DeHane. Ten seconds left in the first half. And Sierra Vance going to bleed out the rest of the clock. What a start to the 2024 season through one half of play. Virginia Tech up two to nothing on the ACC Network Extra. Mountains here in Blacksburg. Thompson Field, one of the most picturesque backdrops in the ACC. And the second half is underway between the Hokies and the Fighting Camels. Virginia Tech to possess early and 14th year veteran head coach Chugger Adair. The eighth coach to amass over 150 wins in his ACC career. He has kind of mixed things up throughout the first half, right? Went out there with the starters, went out there with his, his top tier group, so to speak, and then kind of let everybody get a burn towards the back half of the second half. You saw one goal produced out of the starters, another goal produced out of some of the reserves, handful of freshmen headlined by none other than Taylor Lewin got their opportunities in the first half. And now it looks like a lot of the starting figures back out there to get things going in half number two once again. Now Virginia Tech working from the far touch line in the middle of the field. And I know Vjern in a name, five in gray, who has had a lot of touches and is just kind of one of those pieces in the middle that goes a lot of unmentioned, right, because she's not going to score all the goals, but does all the gritty things that you need, especially to take the ball back in the middle of the field for Virginia Tech. She was all over the place in half number one, and a big reason as to why the Hokies are in front, two to zip. Here's Kylie Marshall, had one of the two goals in half number one. And quickly Campbell able to take it back. One on two. And out of bounds, it rolls. Allie George throws it in over her head for Virginia Tech. And how about this? We got a goalkeeper change for the Hokies. So Lauren Hargrove got the start in half number one, was essentially untested. And now Mickey Easter in there for Virginia Tech for the second half. Here's a shot wide right of the net from the far side by Anna Weir. Mickey Easter, one in the teal, senior out of Culpeper, Virginia. Played three seasons at Marquette before now transferring to Virginia Tech for one last year in Blacksburg. Coming back home, so to speak. And that was a big question, who would get the nod in net today? All three keepers. And Savannah Sabo, Lauren Hargrove, and Mickey Easter split time evenly in the two preseason contests. They went with Hargrove in the first half, and now clearly still a battle for that starting spot with Easter in here for half number two. Easter made 44 starts in 45 appearances with the Marquette Golden Eagles. She finished her career with a 139 goals allowed average and a 735 save percentage.
Tierra Vance played the first half, the junior, out of Fairfax, Virginia. And now Van Dusburg in half number two. Campbell kept their starters in for the majority of that first half. Again, where Tech kind of gave some opportunities across the board. Campbell did not. Continue to try their keep their foot on the gas throughout that first half. And really, I think that last goal at the two-minute mark in the first half flipped this game on its head in a lot of ways because Tech, despite being the aggressor, was only up one to nothing. And really, you're one bounce of the ball away from equalization. And instead, Virginia Tech with that second goal just made the gap that much bigger. Almost felt like a dagger, especially when it was scored, how it was scored. Corner kick, two minute mark in the first half. Like, you're clinging to life if you're Campbell, and then boom, you just kind of get hit with that. We'll see how they respond. Virginia Tech with their first corner kick now of the second half. Looking for a third goal tonight. Natalie Mitchell sends it in. Headed away. Pelkowski with a touch at the top. Off to Anna Weir with some green in front. Anna Weir puts it on net. And it's snatched out of the air by Van Dusburg. Another shot on goal for Anna Weir. Has been the most consistent, consistent offensive contributor for Virginia Tech tonight. And a weir once more. And the through ball is punched away. Well, the majority of that first half, you saw her on the near side, which means when you reverse it, you're going to see her mostly on the far side here. So it was actually interesting to see her have that chance from the near side on the right side of the field. Corner kick once again, it's Natalie Mitchell. A low line drive. She lets it dance out of play. Well, we're at double digit corner kicks and then some for the Hokies. Served in by Mitchell. Plucked away, Eden Skyers. And Pelkowski launches it wide right. Big boom with the right leg. 13 shots for Virginia Tech. I mean, that tells the story. 13 shots for Tech, zero for Campbell is almost all you need to know as far as how this game has gone possession-wise. Tech looking to create more. I know Vernon settles it down. Carries it in front. Threads the needle to Mitchell. One more to De Guzman. Sent out of bounds by Terrell. And a corner kick on tap for the Virginia Tech Hokies once again. Skyers to send it in from the near side now. Again, the assist on a corner kick that Kylie Marshall scored on at the two minute mark of the first half. The assist was Kendall D'Amelio's. Here's Skyers. A lot of contact in front. Anna Weir off to De Guzman. Back to Weir. She's tripped up. And a foul called will stay here. Been a pretty clean game, really has. Just gets tripped up here. Aggressive towards the ball. Emma
Emily Rubio, the sophomore out of Bowie, Maryland. Now a free kick for Virginia Tech. Natalie Mitchell, the leading scorer from a year ago. And Mitchell puts it in. Natalie Mitchell on the board in 2024. Three nothing Hokies. Perfect placement for 24 in gray. Does not get much better than that. Not a chance. Off the left post. Led the team in scoring a year ago, starting all 18 games. Had 19 points, nine goals and an assist. Third team all ACC a season ago. The life of this offense, it was only a matter of time before Natalie Mitchell found herself on this scoreboard. And it's 3-0 Virginia Tech. Whistles on the far side and Campbell to possess. <laughs> Campbell with what feels like their first true possession here in half number two. And it's instantaneously taken right back. Here's Natalie Mitchell. Now Anna Weir. Hokies with numbers. Weir crosses it in front. Vernon. Puts it on Cage, and a diving stop is made by Vondesberg. I know Vernon was looking for her first, team's fourth. And now Eden Skyer is going to sub off for Virginia Tech. Conversation before, between our officiating crew and Alyssa Tucker, who again was the star to be on the lookout for to give the fighting camels a fighting chance. And Virginia Tech's defense has really neutralized not just her, but this entire Campbell offensive attack. You know, you look at Campbell's schedule, and, and here was something interesting to to be on the lookout for this season. They did not play any quote unquote power four opponents last season. Well this year they play three and they're all in the ACC. They're at Virginia Tech. They're at home against NC State down in Bowie Creek. And then they also play Clemson who's currently ranked number five in the country. This is all after they meet up with George Mason in their next game. Not a light non-conference schedule for Campbell by any means. And you tip your cap for challenging yourself like that in the non-con. Tech with numbers again. Eden Skyers crosses up her defender. Off to Anna Weir. Pelkowski tangled up. Du Guzman tried to surge at it. And it's punched away by the Fighting Camels. Virginia Tech keeping the possession. Here's Pelkowski. Offers it back for Marshall. Another touch for Viernan. Taken away by Adil Schwab. We're trying to stay on our feet. Virginia Tech able to capitalize. Allie George lofts it up the touchline. Can't connect with DeGuzman. And Virginia Tech to reset. 
Terrell gives the defense a chance to just catch their breath momentarily before the Hokies attack once again. I know at the top. Threads it to Mitchell. Easter all the way up towards the middle of the field. Skyers making a defender miss. And it's gobbled up by Vondersberg. Still trying to get 25 in gray a couple of touches, right? Taylor Price. Now you got Natalie Mitchell going. Can you incorporate Price, the junior out of Ashburn? Scored two goals against ETSU in the exhibition on Friday. Suffered an ACL injury during the 2023 season. Makes her return. Entered her sophomore season as a reigning third team all ACC selection. Mitchell. Now it's Vernon. Off to George. Ali George crosses it in front, nobody's home. And a save made by Vondesberg. Well, there, there was that opportunity for Price momentarily. Another look here. Good through ball for George and just nobody there to connect with. Price was out in front, Mitchell was the one that put it on Cage. And a corner kick for Tech once again. Headed out by Taylor Lewin, the freshman, back into the ball game for the first time in the second half. Going back to Taylor Price. Her rookie season with the Hokies started all 19 contests and finished with eight goals and three assists for 19 total points. As a freshman, she led the team with four game-winning goals. Here's Lewin. Tried to cross it in front. Marshall with a piece. Pulled out by Pelkowski. She gets around a defender. Off to Weir. A touch too strong, and Campbell takes it back. Price was named to the top drawer soccer first team freshman best 11 after her rookie campaign with the Hokies. Missed all of last year, back for a junior season. And after two preseason goals, looking to be better than ever. Inside 30 minutes left to play here in Blacksburg. 3-0 advantage for Virginia Tech. And a weir on this scoreboard, Kylie Marshall and Natalie Mitchell. Here's Mitchell. The freshman Lewin. Passes through for Allie George. Back off to Lewin. Lewin launches. Nobody's home. Well, Virginia Tech with a handful of new faces on this team as well, despite returning a lot of production. You got transfers and Sarah Rosenbaum from Wisconsin. Of course, we've hammered home Mickey Easter from Marquette. But also a handful of impressive freshmen. They welcome eight total freshmen. Lauren Carpenter, Gabby Sioka, Amelie D'Angelo, Annie DeHaan, 
Kate Granis, Taylor Lewin, Viv Pope, and Ashley Vizek. Campbell's there to take it back. Freshman class includes four defenders, a midfielder, three forwards. Group was ranked 15th in the country, according to Top Drawer Soccer, heading into the 2024 campaign. Vizic, who we haven't even really had a chance to talk about yet today for Virginia Tech. She was named to the Top Drawer Soccer's preseason best 11 freshman team heading into this season. We'll see what kind of minutes she's able to get for the Hokies. Number 12 in gray on the defensive side. Also senior night tonight. One of two senior nights this season, matter of fact, opening the season with senior night is certainly something unique, but something we can all get down with. And Easter is there for Virginia Tech. Well, she was a part of the senior day celebrations here. 11 seniors and one graduate student. This class of 2024 has guided Virginia Tech to two NCAA tournament appearances in 2021 and 2022. Tech advanced to the second round of the NCAA tournament in 2021 with a big time three nothing victory over Ohio State, one of the biggest wins in recent time for this program. Emma Pelkowski, who's 26 and great tonight, she had a big assist in that win over the Buckeyes. This 2024 class responsible for 29 total wins over the past three years together, heading, heading into one last final ride. Things got dicey for a second. Van Dusburg is there once again. Three saves for the Fighting Camels. She's got two of them. One for Sierra Vance, who had the start in the first half. Well, we've talked about how loaded this ACC is. And Virginia Tech's going to get a lot of it. They're picked to finish 10th out of 17 in the ACC this season. And Campbell picked to finish 10th on the other side in the CAA as well. Florida State picked to finish first, coming off of their fourth national championship in 10 seasons. They also won their fourth straight ACC title last year. You look at Virginia Tech's schedule. They do play Florida State here at home on October 6th. They'll welcome the defending national and ACC champions to Blacksburg. Stanford, the new addition to the conference, they were picked to finish second with two first place votes for the Cardinal. They're coming off a 20-win campaign themselves. Virginia Tech will not play them this season. <laughs> Allie George to throw it in near the corner for Virginia Tech. Offers it for Pelkowski. Little behind the back action. Rolled in for Arango. And out of bounds it goes. ACC has seven teams in the top 25 of the preseason United Soccer Coaches Poll. Tying for the most in the country heading into this season. 
The nation best five ACC teams are in the top 10. And again, Florida State and Stanford lead the way at one and two respectively. Clemson opens the year at number five. Pittsburgh number seven. North Carolina tied for eighth. Notre Dame ranked 15th in the land. And Duke rounds out the ACC contingent at number 24. You also got Virginia and Wake Forest receiving votes. I mean, the ACC is loaded, plain and simple. Campbell looking to clear. Pelkowski is there. And Campbell now with a chance in their offensive third. Under 20 minutes left to play in the contest. Through ball in front. Nobody there but Easter for Virginia Tech. Off to Allie George. Strong defender in front. And a tie up in the middle of the field. Virginia Tech awarded the possession. Sarah Rosenbaum, the transfer from Wisconsin, tripped up by Abby Connolly. Hokies hanging on to it. Sarah Rosenbaum made an appearance in 17 matches and tallied 202 minutes of action last season at Wisconsin. Played one season for the Badgers in the Big Ten. Our sophomore campaign here in Blacksburg. She hits the deck. Recorded the game-winning goal against Illinois back in the middle of October in 2023. It was her lone shot on goal the entire season, but she made the most of it. Looking to play a little bit of a bigger role here in Blacksburg. A uh, free kick now for Virginia Tech. Here's Taylor Lewin, the freshman, part of a top 15 class, and she hits the wall. Lewin launches wide left. You know, Taylor has not played like a freshman in a lot of ways. Chugger trusting her a lot with controlling the possessions on offense. Two shots on goal so far tonight, asserting herself into this ball game. This program in recent time has been built on freshman contributors obviously turning into eventually leaders on this team, but Natalie Mitchell feels like yesterday was a freshman, now a junior for Tech, but she was huge in her sophomore campaign as the leading scorer, and then Anna Weir was big last year as a contributor. Now in her sophomore campaign, Avi Lewin the next in line. Here's a chance for Campbell, and a diving stop made by Mickey Easter. Well, if you're trying to win the job, that's a good way to assert yourself. Again, Lauren Hargrove was very, very solemnly tested in that first half. Much credit to Virginia Tech's defense, but Mickey Easter with a nice stop with the hands. Taking away an opportunity. 
Second in the Big East last year at Marquette in saves per game. Corner kick for Campbell. And Easter got a piece of that. Here's Lewin. Physical Lewin. And sends it out. Eden Skyers so crafty with the slide tackle. Here's Rosenbaum. And now Mitchell in transition, leading the pack. Ella Valente, touch in front, Rosenbaum to Mitchell. Shot on net, just wide right. Excellent passing by Virginia Tech. Rosenbaum with an old look. Off to Natalie Mitchell, just missed it. And in all likelihood, as we plunge just south of 15 minutes left, that might be the night for Mitchell and Rosenbaum. What a night it was. Wisconsin transfer played a whole lot of minutes, and Natalie Mitchell with the third goal tonight for Virginia Tech to really put a stamp on it, increasing it to a 3-0 advantage. Natalie Mitchell... Returning leading scorer for a junior campaign, 19 points a year ago, well on her way to meeting it. With one already, one goal I should say, and two points on the young campaign. See where Easter goes with it here. Over the head of Skyers and Campbell will have the possession. Well, the Hokies will face off against five teams this year that advanced in the NCAA tournament a year ago. I mean, the schedule, whether it's ACC play or non-conference, is just stacked. This team will play Clemson, Florida State, Notre Dame, all ranked teams in the ACC. Notre Dame receiving votes, that is. And James Madison and Liberty in the non-conference, two teams that each won a game in the 2023 NCAA tournament. Four of Virginia Tech's opponents this season are ranked or receiving votes. That's in the first edition of the United Soccer Coaches poll. And all throughout the year, Virginia Tech will be battle-tested. Looking to punch a ticket to the NCAA tournament in 2024. It's been a couple of years since they've been there. But the seniors on this team remember what it was like. 2021, 2022 NCAA tournament appearances. Chugger Adair, Ben Temeni. And it all started tonight with Anna Weir's goal in the 26th minute. Kylie Marshall able to score one with two minutes left in the first half before Natalie Mitchell added one in the 56th minute to make it three zip. This series started back in 1993. And in the first three meetings, Campbell beat Virginia Tech in 1993 down in Bowie Creek. It was a one nothing win for Campbell. They returned to Blacksburg two years later to play in 95. The Fighting Camels won that one two to one in Blacksburg. And they also beat Virginia Tech in 96 the year later 
down in Bowie Creek, a 2 nothing win. The last meeting, it was 2011. It's actually on a neutral site in Winston-Salem for the Wake Forest Tournament. Virginia Tech won it 3-2. to two. Chance taken away. And Sky it out of play. Hokies 11 minutes away from winning their second in a row in the long series. Just goes to show you how the sport changes. Jeff Gross in his third season at the helm down in Bowie Creek. Spent the previous eight seasons, including the last two as associate head coach on the staff at UNC Greensboro. Had a lot of success there. While he was there, he helped guide the Spartans to back-to-back -back Southern Conference championships and the NCAA College Cup. Another nice play by Easter. Jeff Gross, College Cup in 2017 and 2018 while on the staff at UNC Greensboro. He took over a program that at the time was coming off consecutive trips, trips to the Big South Conference Championship. Campbell had their teams, that's for sure. And they made an appearance in the 2020-2021 NCAA Tournament. Looking to get them back to that level. Now in his third season at the helm. A lot of season in front of the Fighting Camels as well. Always tough to go on the road. First opponent is of the magnitude of ACC level Virginia Tech. And we talked about it in the first half. It doesn't lighten up for Campbell at all whatsoever. Campbell will still play. George Mason coming up. Then they'll play NC State. Clemson. They play Charlotte. This is all in the non-con. And then in CAA play, Stony Brook, Delaware, Towson, Monmouth. A lot of good teams on the schedule throughout the rest of this season. CAA tournament will be held at the end of October. They'll look to fight for a chance to play their way into their first NCAA tournament since 2021. Under 10 left to play in Blacksburg. Annie DeHaan, one of the highly touted freshmen, gets it in for Virginia Tech. And Virginia Tech to hang on onto it. Taking a look at the CAA, Campbell again picked to finish 10th. Monmouth picked to win the league. Hofstra and Towson at two and three respectively. With Northeastern at four, William and Mary at five. Corner kick for Virginia Tech. Fifteen corner kicks tonight. Make it 16 now, and Campbell with just one. It did come in the second half about 15 minutes ago. Lofted up into the air, put towards the cage, and headed out of play. Abigail Norman, the freshman out of Quebec, was ready for it. Now they'll move it to the other side and do it all over again.
Ava Arango launches it in. Deflects just to the right, almost hockey style. Deflected towards the net and instead misses to the right. The initial read was certainly made by Von Dusberg and then almost was tipped back in the opposite way. Instead, with just south of 7.30 left to play, Virginia Tech takes it away in the middle of the field once again. Most of the starters off for Virginia Tech and everybody getting a run now with a three nothing cushion. Still cheering hard though on the sideline, making it an atmosphere with a great crowd on hand, might I add, to open up the season. Hokie soccer crowds are always impressive here at Thompson Field, tonight no exception. And this is without students, might I add. A lot of student athletes out in force now that they're back on campus a little bit earlier. Victoria Moser to throw it in for Virginia Tech. And we'll head the other way. We'll mention it around campus. Volleyball gets going on Friday, August 30th here at Virginia Tech. They'll play on the road at Winthrop before returning home. The first home game is the next evening against UCF inside Castle Coliseum. Big 12 opponent there to open up the home slate for Virginia Tech. A lot of contact. We'll stay down here with Campbell. Virginia Tech volleyball will Host the Hokie Invitational on September 13th and 14th, right next door, inside Castle Coliseum. Almost trickled in to the left side. Mickey Easter let it escape, and it gets out of play. Virginia Tech looks to clear. Men's soccer, they open up the season next Thursday here at home. They play North Florida. They open with two home games before hitting the road. They'll face SEC opponent Kentucky down in Lexington on September 2nd. An ACC play opens for them on Friday, September 13th. They're on the road at Syracuse, who won the national championship two seasons ago. And then, of course, the other fall sport, football. That gets going. On August 31st on the road in Nashville, the Hokies will play Vanderbilt. So it's that time of year once again. And Blacksburg has a buzz about it as fall sports are officially underway with this one kicking things off tonight. Trying to do it in shutout fashion. Under five minutes left to play. Whistle blown, Campbell hanging onto it. Eight fouls against the Fighting Camels, three for the Hokies. Abby Connolly with the free kick. Connolly throws her in. And it's cleared away. Sophie Maltese. Well, next up for Virginia Tech on the schedule. On the road at James Madison. On the road at Delaware. On the road at Monmouth. They'll return home on August 29th. They'll play Loyola, Maryland here in Blacksburg. After that, they'll have two more home games, High Point and Liberty, before they go on the road and play a tough Northwestern team out of the Big Ten. 
in Chicago. And finally, ACC opens. ACC play opens on September 12th. That's on the road at Clemson. Charter Adair looking to make it 2-0 in his tenure against Campbell. It was a part of that staff in 2011. Virginia Tech takes it away once again. Here's Sophie Maltese. Now Campbell looking to finish strong in the final two minutes. Pick up a little bit of momentum to take with them back down to Bowie Creek. About a three hour and 40 minute drive. Up 421. Then you get to 77 before eventually it's 81 and 460 to Blacksburg. You do get to see, however, on the ride, before you get down to, to the Winston-Salem area, you get to see some pretty picturesque views. Here's a chance for Tech. Just a little bit too much on it with the through ball. Just north of a minute left to play in the 2024 season opener. One minute, one minute remaining in the match. Transition opportunity for Virginia Tech. Pass in front, buried to the back of the net. Well, fourth on the night for the Hokies, Ava Arango. She's got her first of the season, and the lights are flashing on a Thursday night in Blacksburg. An exclamation point. With just under a minute left, and the party is on here in Blacksburg. Perfect through ball, and all she had to do was touch it in. Arango in the 90th minute, Anna Weir got it going from the get-go, Kylie Marshall with the second, Natalie Mitchell with the third, and now Ava Arango. Lauren Gogol and Viv Pope with the assist for Virginia Tech. Maltese with it. Dances behind her back. Across the touchline. Launches it up the field. Viv Pope. And it's punched away by Des Von Berg. Virginia Tech is 1-0 to start the 2024 season.